Good day and mabuhay! I am your teacher Ari Sampuan from Alia National High School and welcome to another episode of Learning English. Are you ready? Great! Now get your pen and self-learning modules so that we can start. For your first activity, in your answer sheet, Complete the mind map by writing your idea on how to resolve the conflict among siblings in a non-violent way. Today, we are going to discuss about conflicts in literary selections. The objective of this lesson is to determine the conflicts presented in literary selections and the need to resolve those conflicts in non-violent ways. What is a conflict? A conflict is a central struggle between opposing forces. It can be external conflict or internal conflict. We all know that every story has a conflict. And conflict may also known as the problems in the story. These problems are anything in the story that goes wrong and creates tension. One kind of conflict is external conflict. External conflict refers to the struggle of the main character against outside force. We have four types of external conflict. First, man versus man, a conflict between characters, or character versus characters, or another group of characters. Examples, Ang Provinciano, World War. Love Triangle Second, Man versus Society Conflict between a character and society This type of conflict happens when the character has a problem with the society in which they live, including laws or the beliefs of groups. Examples, The Hunger Games In Hunger Games, there is a character versus society where the characters try to put a stop to the character capital's rules over Panem. The Maze Runner Stories or movies that the characters fight against the rules such as freedom, rights, or a cause. Third, Man versus Nature Conflict between a character or characters and uncontrollable events. Example, Castaway 2000 Life of Pi 2012, or stories or movies about earthquake, tsunami, storm, elements, and etc. The last type of external conflict is man versus supernatural being, a conflict between mortals and immortals or aliens. Example, Ender's Game, Harry Potter, Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief, Justice League, Avengers Endgame, or stories or movies such as alien invasion, Greek mythology, man versus gods. Internal conflict. It refers to the conflict within himself or herself. This is also called man versus self. It usually happens within the character's mind. This is a conflict he cannot truly see on the outside. The character struggles with a decision or with his or her own identity. Examples, Hamlet in Hamlet. In the myth when King Medas struggles with a gift which is the ability to turn anything into gold once it touches them. Or any movie or story where the character is having self-doubt, insecurity, and etc. Let's review. Every story has a conflict. External conflicts occur outside the character, while internal conflicts happen within the character. Four types of external conflicts. Character versus character. Character versus nature. Character versus society. Character versus supernatural. There is one type of eternal conflict character versus self. There you have it! We have the following activity. Identify the conflict in the scenarios below 
write MVM if it is man versus man, MVSO if man versus society, MVN if man versus nature, MVSB if man versus supernatural being, and MVSF if man versus self. Number one. Martha is stressed because she lost the money her mother gave her to buy their grocery. Answer Man versus self. MVSF. Number two. Peter and RG were best friends, but just for a girl, they turned themselves into their worst enemies. Answer Man versus man. MVM. Number three. The province lost a million pesos worth of agricultural products due to the super typhoon that rampaged in the land. Answer Man versus Nature MVN. Number 4. A brave warrior is preparing to face the demon lord of a parallel world. Answer Man versus Supernatural Being, MVSB. Number 5. In his entire life, Arthur really couldn't understand how his entire town believed in a self claimed prophet. For him, all of the prophetic teachings of his men are unreasonable and baseless. Answer Man versus Self or MVSF. For the application, we are going to watch a short story by Ronnie V. Diaz entitled The Centipede. When I saw my sister, Delia, beating my dog with a stick, I felt heat heave like a gazed, angry beast in my chest thought she had a weak heart and she must not be surprised. So I held myself, my throat swelled, and I felt hate and plunge in its gauge of ribs. I was 13 when my father first took me hunting. All through the summer of that year, I had tramped alone and unarmed the fields and forests around our farm. Then one afternoon in late July my father told me I could use his shotgun. That's good. Can't we throw a stone? No, you have to wait. Suddenly, a small dog yelping shrilly came tearing across the brooding plain of grass and small trees. One of the birds whistled and the covey dispersed like seeds thrown in the wind. May I keep him, father? Well, I'm not sure. That dog belongs to somebody. May I keep him until his owner comes for him? He'd make a good pointer. But, I would not like my son to be accused of dog stealing. Oh, no. I shall return him when the owner comes to claim him. All right, I hope that dog makes a hunter out of you. For you and I became fast friends. Every afternoon after school we went to the field to chase quails or to the bank of the river which was fenced by tall, blade sharp reeds to flesh snipes. Father was away most of the time but when he was home he hunted with us. Eddie, come here. I don't want to see that dog again in the house. That dog destroyed my slippers again. I'll tell Berto to kill that dog if I see it around again. My sister was the meanest creature I knew. She was eight when I was born. The day my mother died. Although we continued to live in the same house, she had gone, it seemed, to another country from where she looked at me with increasing annoyance and contempt. One of my first solid memories was of standing before a grass hut. A doll was cradled in the box. It was my sister's playhouse and I remembered she told me to keep out of it. The doll looked incredibly heavy. I picked it up. It was slight but it had hard, unflexing limbs. I tried to bend one of the legs and it snapped. I stared with horror at the hollow tube that was the leg of the doll. Then I saw my sister coming. She pushed me hard and it crashed against the wall. I heard my sister screaming. Then suddenly my sister moaned, she stiffened. The sapling fell from her hand and quietly, as though a sling were lowering her, she sank to the ground. Her eyes were wild as scudding on the edges of her lips. I ran to the house yelling for father.
she came back from the hospital quiet and mean. Nothing I did ever please her. She destroyed willfully anything I liked. At first, I took it as a process of adaptation, a step of adjustment. I snatched and crushed every seed of anger she planted in me, but later on I realized that it had become the habit with her. I did not say anything when she told Berto to kill my monkey because it snickered at her one morning, while she was brushing her teeth. I did not say anything when she told father that she did not like my pigeon house because it stank and I had to give away my pigeons and Berto had to chop the house into kindling wood. I learned how to hold myself because I knew we had to put up with her whims to keep her calm and quiet. But when she dumped my butterflies into a waste can and burned them in the backyard, I realized that she was spiting me. My butterflies never snickered at her and they did not smell. She knew too that my butterfly collection had grown with me. But when I arrived home, one afternoon, from school, I found my butterflies in a can, burned in their cotton beds like Deckel. I wept and father had to call my sister for an explanation. Delia, come here. Explain to your brother, what happened. They were attracting ants. I ran after Baruch. Then I saw that one of his eyes was bleeding. I sat on the ground and looked closer. The eye had been pierced. The stick of my sister had stabbed the eye of my dog. I was stunned. On my way back to the house, I saw Berto in the shade of a tree, splitting wood. Hey, Eddie. I've got something for you. You know, that son of a devil nearly frightened me to death. I didn't expect to find any centipede here, it nearly bit me. Who wouldn't get shocked? I stuck the sliver into the carapace of the centipede. Then I made sure it was dead by brushing its antennae. The centipede did not move. I wrapped it in a handkerchief. My sister was enthroned in a large chair in the porch of the house. She was not aware of my presence. I unwrapped the centipede. I threw it on her lap. My sister shrieked and a strip of white sheet flew off like an unhanded hawk. She shot up from her chair, turned around and she saw me but she collapsed again to her chair clutching her breast, doubled up with pain the centipede had fallen to the floor. But, it's dead. It's dead. Look. Look. It's dead. Then, I came back to my senses when I saw the result of my action. My sister fell down and cried with pain. I regretted it and felt guilty but the damage had been done already. For your performance test, you are going to select only one task. Number 1. Artist. Draw or sketch digitally 5 or more series of photos or scenarios of a comic strip. Number 2. Musician. Compose a song centered on how you would deal and resolve non-violently the conflict in the story if you were in any situation. Number 3. Poet. Write a poem about resolving the conflict in the story non-violently. Number 4. Writer. Write an essay about the conflict presented in the story. Number 5. Vlogger. Make a vlog and share your stand on the issue presented in the story. The following rubric for the performance task. Quality of output and presentation of information, 35%. Grammar, 35%. Creativity, 20%. Neatness, 10%. A total of 100%. For your assessment, select the letter that corresponds to your answer. Read the questions carefully and write your answers in the provided answer sheet. Number 1. This refers to the conflict where the main character struggles against inside problems such as self-identity, crisis, and self-doubt. A. Conflict B. External conflict C. Internal Conflict D. All of the above Number 2. Cyberbullying is an example of what kind of conflict? A. Internal Conflict B. External Conflict Number 3. 
This conflict refers to the conflict between character. A. Man versus self. B. Man versus society. C. Man versus nature. D. Man versus man. Number four. What is the kind of conflict present in the story The Centipede? A. Man versus man. B. Man versus self. C. Man versus society. D. Man versus supernatural being. Number five. Is conflict needed in a story? A. Yes, because readers love seeing characters struggle. B. Yes, because conflict makes the story interesting. C. No, because it causes stress to the readers. D. No, because it normalizes violence and bad behavior. Number one, the correct answer is letter C. Internal conflict. Next, number two, the correct answer is letter B, external conflict. Number three, the correct answer is D, man versus man. Number four, the correct answer is letter A, man versus man. And number five, the correct answer is letter B. Yes, because conflict makes the story interesting. There you go, grade 7 learners. We are done with our learning journey. Just remember, conflicts and resolutions are essential components of short fictional stories and even in realities. I hope you learned something for today's episode. Again, this is Teacher Ari Sampuan, your learning buddy from Allen National High School. See you again for our next episode of Learning English.